What's up you guys, it's your boy Tai Tun, and today I'm going to be reacting to y'all's secrets and confessions. So I asked you guys on Instagram to tell me your biggest secrets and your juiciest confessions and apparently some of you guys went in. I just want you guys to know that I have not looked at these yet. I asked my mom to go through and screenshot some that she thought were really good and really juicy. So that way I can just open my photo album and you guys will get my real, true, honest reactions. So this is a new series that I think I'm going to start doing on my channel, so make sure you guys follow me on Instagram so you can be part of the next reaction video. But before I make this intro way too long, I'm going to need you guys to give this video a big fat thumbs up, subscribe to my channel to become part of the Thai fam, and ring that notification bell so you can get notified every time I post. Yes, my graphics are finally back. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat at T-Y-E underscore T-U-N. And with all that being said, let's get into today's video. I'm a little bit nervous to see what you guys said because sometimes y'all be saying the most craziest things. Y'all say I have a crazy life? No, y'all have a crazy life. And since these are people's real secrets and confessions, I'm not going to be sharing anybody's name. I'm going to put the question right here on the screen. Hopefully I'll figure out a way to do that. But with further ado, let me open up my phone, go to the photo album, and uh, get started. So the first one says, my wife's wedding ring used to belong to my ex fiance <gasps> Oh my god, that is not okay. Um, whoever you are, you are absolute garbage. <laughs> the next one says, I like to drink my roommate's condiments out bottle. You like to drink your roommate's condiments out the bottle? Like ketchup and mustard, you just drink it out of the bottle? That is disgusting. Sir, I'm gonna need you to take a seat in a chair and make sure it's electric. The next one says, I clean the toilet with my step... <laughs> I clean the toilet with my stepmom's makeup brushes. That is horrible. <laughs> Honestly, that kind of sounds like something that I would do. And if I'm being really honest, this one time I was on vacation with my friends and this one girl came and she was being a Debbie Downer and I used her makeup brushes to clean the toilet. but that's only because she told me to shut up in the movie theater. I have a crush on my best friend's cousin. Ooh, that's juicy. I can relate to this though, because I've been there. I, I've had a crush on one of my friend's cousins before. It's okay. We see each other. The next one says, I would spit in my dad's drink when he made me mad. Uh, um, okay. I've been mad at my parents, but I don't think I've ever spit in their food or drink or anything like that. And if I ever did and they found out, that would be my behind, okay? You bold for that one. I'm not accepting any drinks from you, but um, yeah, you bold for that. The next one says, I have a crush on my best friend's boyfriend. <gasps> Oh my god. These secrets and confessions are so juicy. That's a good one. That was a good one. But I think all of us have been there. Have you ever had a crush on your best friend's boyfriend before? Let me be honest. I know you have. I have anyway. Shoot. I ain't afraid to admit that. The, ne <laughs> the next one says, I pooped myself in second grade. That is child. <laughs> that is disgusting. That must have been so embarrassing though. Like, are you okay? Do you need a diaper? I can go out and get you some. The next one says, I got my mom's ring stuck in the drain. <laughs> I hope you told her. I guess you didn't if this is secrets and confessions. Oh my God. Did you at least get it out? Like, is it still in the drain? Like, let me know in the comment section down below. Let us know. The next one says, I figured out my cousin drinks pee. Um, child. Anyway, um, I... <laughs> I don't even know what to say to this, like, um, 
That's nasty. The next one says, I think I'm super ugly, but I try to hide it. <gasps> oh no, oh, I don't like that. You're not ugly. Everybody is beautiful in their own way and I'm sure you are gorgeous, okay? I didn't like that one. I don't like that. I once ate my boyfriend's food without telling him and I blamed it on his best friend and I felt bad. <laughs> what? How you gonna eat your man's food and then blame it on his best friend? But we can all learn a lesson from this. If you ever eat somebody's food, just blame it on their best friend because it's believable, you know? And then you're in the clear. Props to you, sis. I always pee in the bed while wearing, what? Okay, first of all, what is up with all these pee ones? I always pee in the bed while wearing jackets. Okay. Some of y'all need diapers or something. Like, what? what is this? <laughs> My boyfriend gave me a hickey. Child. Child. This is a little, you know what? You don't look old enough to be doing anything like that. I'm telling you, mom. The next one says, I'm trans and I'm scared to tell people because I don't want them to hate me. Ugh, some of these are so sad. Why did you screenshot the sad ones? But what I want to say to this person who sent this one in is that you are a beautiful soul and do not let other people's opinions of you define who you are. And if they don't like you, then sis, you don't want to be their friends anyway. And at the end of the day, it's nobody's business, so you don't have to tell anyone if you don't want to. As long as you are cool with it and your partner is cool with it, then you don't have to tell anybody, like period. This one says, you don't color the back of your head. <laughs> Um, hmm. I know who sent this one in. This one was sent in by my friend John, my TikTok friend John. He is trying to expose me right now because I don't color the back of my head. Sometimes I'm lazy when I film TikTok videos. You guys never see the back of my head anyway, so I'm like, I'll just do what you can see, you know? I don't like you, John. I had a nasty dream about Harry Styles. <laughs> oh my god. I had a nasty dream about Harry Styles. Honestly, honey, me too. I had a couple of them. I walked into my cousin Haley biting her toes. <laughs> she threw her cousin under the bus, put her name out there and everything. Should I cut that out? I guess I don't have to. Nobody knows who Haley is. Dang, really? You just gonna throw her under the bus like that? Oh my God. I lied to my mom about having my period so I could get out of school early. <laughs> Oh my god, you know what's funny about this is that I actually pretended to have a period when I was in, I forget what grade I was in, but I pretended to have a period so that way I can get out of gym class. I was young, so I didn't know that only girls got periods. I thought like it was just a thing. I don't know. Don't ask. It's on my TikTok page. If you want to hear the story, just go to TikTok. I don't know if I really should read this one, but it says I smashed my cousin. Okay, I don't really know what to say to that. That's obviously like not okay. Um, next, once I pooped, <laughs> why again? What, what is up with all the pee and the poop? I once pooped my pants in a park on Easter, and we had to leave the park, <laughs> ruining Easter. <laughs> why you ruin Easter like that? I guess if you gotta go, you gotta go. What they didn't have potties then, or something like that? Did the, was there no bathrooms? That sounds like it was embarrassing. Okay. I vandalized my neighbor's house because they hit my dog. <gasps> no, not the dog. You know what? I don't commend behavior like this, but if someone hit my dog, I probably vandalized their house too. So props to you. Well, what did you do? How, like, did you vandalize it on the out? Like, did you throw eggs at it? Did you burn it down? Like, what? I need to know. Because I probably would have did the same thing, especially if somebody hit my dog. Not the dog. I stole something from my cousin. You can't be trusted. Look, you can't be trusted. I'm going to need you to turn yourself in, give whatever it is that you stole back, go to jail, 30 days. 30 days minimum. No parole. I don't know proper jail terms or prison terms, so yeah, parole. That's a thing. <laughs> I took my enemy's man and then I dumb. Dumb? Dumbed? Oh, dumped. I think she meant to say dumped. 
I took my enemy's man, then I dumped him a week later cause I'm a baddie like that. Okay sis. I don't condone this type of behavior, that's real hoe energy, like don't, don't do that. However, if she is your enemy, depending on what she did, you did the right thing, you made the right call. Good job. My mom hate, my mom hates me. See, these are kind of sad. These are like, the energy that these are giving me are real high, real low, real depressing, real nasty. There's a lot of poop and pee, like what is going on? But this one says, my mom hates me. I'm sure your mom doesn't hate you. It probably just seems that way because she cares about you a lot. So she's probably just, you know, giving you a lot of, I don't know, what's the word? Criticism. But she probably doesn't hate you. Just know that she loves you and she's probably trying her best. We're all stressed here in quarantine and things are difficult right now. So just, just try to be patient with her because I know sometimes I be feeling like this. That's just not the case. She's just doing her best. Calm down, okay? You'll get through it. My ex-boyfriend cheated on me with my best friend, but even if it hurts, I'm friends with them. I'm nice. What? No, 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 no. First of all, this is not your best friend. No best friend would do that to you. So cut her, him, whoever, cut them off. And uh, don't be friends with your boyfriend either. Why are you friends with your ex-boyfriend? No, that's never a good look. Like, cut them both off. They're both trash for doing you like that. But I do commend you for being so forgiving and so nice that you're still friends with them even though they hurt you like that. Cause I could never. My brother used to pee in the bed <laughs> until he was 14. <laughs> um, that's kinda old. 14? That's a, that's a, that's kind of old. I would make fun of him, but I do want to let you guys know that if somebody is peeing in the bed at 14 years old, they went through something traumatizing probably, and yeah, it's causing them to pee in the bed. I only know that because I watched one show where they were like, when children pee in the bed, they normally went through something traumatizing. Not, not little kids, but like, you know, as you get older, if you're still peeing in the bed, it's because you went through something traumatizing. Um, or you're dealing with something, or you're stressed out, or something like that. I can't remember, but he's probably going through something stressful. You should probably talk to him and see if he's okay. I kissed a boy while dating my girlfriend. Wait, I kissed a boy while date while dating my girl. Okay, I did read that right. Wait, oh, so you just like both? Okay, I mean, do you? Um, this is not okay. <laughs> you cannot, eat regardless boy or girl, you cannot kiss somebody when you're together with somebody. If you're in a monogamous relationship with one person, do not go out and kiss somebody. That's cheating, sir. I don't condone, I don't like this one. I don't like it. I don't condone this one. Next. I flushed my underwear down the toilet in second grade because I pooped my pants. <laughs> what is with all the poop? Like, I just don't get it. Everything is about poop and pee and this stupid confession thing. I can't. I cannot. But you flushed them down the toilet. How did you flush them? First of all, how did they flush down the toilet? Because I'm trying to think, like, if I put my underwear in the toilet and flush them right now, it probably would clog the drain, but I'm pretty sure I would not be able <laughs> to flush them down. But honestly, if I pooped my pants and um, my underwear got ruined, I probably would flush them down the toilet too. But you know, you could have just threw them in the trash or something. You didn't have to flush them. But if it works, it works, hey? And that was the last one for this video. So yeah, I hope you guys really, really liked it. I do want to say though, the next time I do a video like this, please refrain from telling me about your pee and your poop. Um, there was a lot of it in this video and uh, um, yeah, no, I don't like reading about peeing poop. But then again, at the same time, if that's your secret or your confession, who am I to judge, right? By the way, do you guys know Lovely Peaches? I was on her live the other day and um, she used the bathroom in a cup and drank it on live. That girl needs some help, some serious help. I really do feel bad for her. Something is genuinely wrong with her. I'm. I'm not a doctor, but I'm pretty sure like 
something ain't completely right in her head. Which brings me to this, I want to start doing rants on people, problematic people like Trisha Paytas, um, Lovely Peaches, whoever. I just want to like make a video dedicated to them, just ranting about them, talking about them, basically just trash talking them, you know what I'm saying? Well, they won't all be trash talking, but like I'll just be giving my opinion on the person and whatnot. Let me know what you guys think, and if you do want me to do videos like that, let me know who you guys want me to talk about. I think if I do do it, the first person I'm going to talk about is Lovely Peaches because I am concerned with her, but yeah, let me know in the comment section down below. But anyways, when it comes to this video, I really did enjoy reading all of you guys' stories and confessions and secrets and whatnot. Um, if you guys want me to do it again, let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know if you like this sort of thing or not. If you want to be part of the next confessions and secrets, I'm not 100% sure what I'm calling this video or this segment or whatever you want to call it, but if you want to be part of the next one, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram because that's where I ask you guys to send them like I'll put it on my story and be like hey guys Tell me your confessions and your secrets and then you guys just sub submit them or whatever So um, if you want to be part of the next one make sure you follow me on Instagram at TYE underscore TUN I'll put it on the screen and if you don't have Instagram I don't know what to tell you. We'll try and figure something out. I'm not 100% sure. I would say leave your confessions and your secrets in the comment section, but like, there's secrets and confessions, and I'm pretty sure you don't want everybody to know your business. But yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you for all the love and support you've given me these past couple months. I really am just blown away. I'm blown away, okay? And with all that being said, I'll talk to you when I talk to you. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.